Hi everyone, today we will see about uh, multivariate normality analysis using our software. As all of you know that assessing the assumption of a multivariate normality is uh, mandatory by many uh, parametric multivariate statistical methods like MANOVA, like uh, discriminant analysis, principal component analysis, conical correlation, and etc. So uh, it is uh, really important to assess to assess the multivariate normality in order to proceed with the aforementioned statistical uh, methods. And there are a number of uh, many analytical methods that proposed for taking of the uh, multivariate uh, normality. However, it is really uh, difficult to decide or difficult to stick to one uh, method since um, each method uh, may give different results under uh, different scenarios or under different uh, conditions. So this may indicate that uh, there is no concrete or there is no uh, best uh, method which, uh, which is valid under uh, any condition uh, for uh, checking of the multivariate uh, normality. Uh, besides this, um, besides uh, to this numerical result, it is very really uh, useful to check the or uh, you have to, to, to check with along with the graphical approach to decide the uh, multivariate uh, normality because the test will give you a number. Uh, and the graph will show you some uh, important points. So if you combine both of them, it will lead to uh, to good uh, decision. So uh, combining the numerical result from uh, different statistical methods, like here is the uh, hands circular, Stern energy, uh, and uh, here also the Dornick and the Mardia. So combining this along with the graph, the graphical approach um, it can be useful and it's provide more reliable uh, decision. So uh, today uh, we will see the five uh, statistical uh, methods that help us to check the multivariate normality in our software. So I will use the MVM as well as the energy uh, package to assess the multivariate normality test using our software. And um, as all of you know that uh, there are uh, uh, five, uh, the five uh, statistical methods that to check the multivariate norm the multivariate normality test. The first one is the Mardias the Mardias multivariate normality test. The second one is the Dornick Hansen multivariate normality test. The third one is the Energy. The fourth one is the Rostens, and the fifth one is the Hence, uh, Zirkler multivariate normality test. And uh, so, all of you know that there are two hypotheses to set. The first one is a null hypothesis, and the second one is alternative hypothesis. And the null hypothesis, uh, you can set your null hypothesis in this way. So, the variable, the, the variables of the they should be follow multivariate uh, normal distribution, but in the case of the, the alternative uh, hypothesis, the variables are not following the multivariate normally, uh, normal distribution. So let's import our uh, data, our data which is found in the Excel somewhere in the desktop. Let's find it. Yeah, and since we are in the October, yes. Let this one and um, this contains some um, uh, characters, so it's better to use uh, sheet two, which is full of um, numerical value. Yeah, that's important. So this is my data look like. Then after, you have to use the function to uh, the function MVN. Here is MVN, the function that helps us to carry out the multivariate normality test. So and then there's a bracket. You have to indicate your data name. So in our case, our data name is this one. And uh, if you want, for example, to run the Hensi Zickler multivariate normality test, so you have to use HZ under quotation. Again, if you want to run the Royston. You have to do in similar fashion to that of the uh, handy Zickler multivariate normality test. So, as you can see here, the function that helps us to carry out the multivariate normality test under the MVN package is the small MVN, 
then followed by the data name, then followed by the methods or the statistical methods that you want to carry on. So type this and submit to our studio, then you will get this result. So it is uh, combined with the statistics, the variable, and as well as here is the p-value and the normality. For example, here is the dh um, is not uh, following the normal distribution, but it's not following multivariate normal distribution because it's indicate no and the p-value is less than 0, 0.0. It is less than 0 0.05, and to say it is or to accept our null hypothesis, the p value should be greater than 0 0.05. So, under such condition, dh is not um, uh, follow the normal distribution pattern. And in similar way, the SL also is not following, again, also dm is not following. But the rest, as you can see here, the um, pH is 0 0.89, so it's greater than the. Uh, 0 0.05 again here also indicate yes it is follow the normal uh, distribution so by this way you can um, check using the Hensey's declare uh, method so generally uh, as you can see here is a p-value zero zero means uh, it's greater than uh, I think it is uh, greater than 0 0.05 so uh, we can say that uh, there is a multivariate normal distribution and in our uh, data, so it is no. Since there is no in our data, so uh, yes times no, it's obvious, it's no. Or positive times negative, it is negative. Then let's uh, go for the Western in similar fashion. You have to change HZ into Western. So I'll submit this one. Again, you'll get this result. Accordingly, still it is no, so we will expect. Uh, now that means we are rejecting our null hypothesis, uh, and there is no uh, multivariate normal distribution in our data to carry on the MANOVA, uh, like uh, conical correlation, like principal component analysis statistical test, or those parametric test. Two, in the same way for the Dronic uh, Hansen method, yeah, yeah, it will give you I think it's the same result, yeah, it is now, still it's now. Again for uh, energy. Yes, still it is now. Again, here is also yes. Still, it is now. So, by this way, you can carry out the multivariate, uh, the multivariate normality uh, test using our software under the package of MEV and using all these statistical uh, methods so this is all about today's tutorial as usual uh, don't forget to provide your valuable comment and suggestion to my channel either using the channel comment box or my email thank you for watching have a nice time